Hi, my name's Kelly, and for my iconic look, I chose Raquel Welsh because she's one of the biggest female icons of the 60s and 70s. She's a very famous actress who played strong female roles which broke the mold of her time. She made being brunette and exotic looking very popular. And now Rahina will create the makeup and hair look on me for you all to see. So now we're going to get started on Kelly's hair. It's very nice and sleek and beautifully long as well. But of course, we need texture in the hair to create the big, long waves. I'm going to put a tiny bit of root lift spray and just massage it into her root. So I'm now going to apply some Tiggy Curl Amplifier to hold the curls in place all over the hair. And it smells really nice as well. So I'm going to start by applying the rollers at the top, going backwards. So I'm using the big ones to create much more volume at the top. So the big rollers are for more volume. And as it goes smaller, it creates more curls. going to quickly put some rollers on this side. Okay, so I've put the rollers on. I'm now going to start on Kelly's makeup. Okay, so we're going to get started by doing Kelly's foundation. So I'm using MAC Studio Fix in NC30. So I'm going to apply that throughout Kelly's face. Evenly distributed, making sure you're covering all areas. It's also taking it down to the neck as well. Okay, so we're just going to move on to doing Kelly's eyebrows and eye makeup and then we'll come back to the face and clean up and finish off the face. So I'm going to first of all create beautiful arched eyebrows. So we are just going to create an arch and it's slightly rounded as well. We're going to then apply the paint pot in Painterly Paint as an eye base for the eyeshadow to sit on. Let's go slightly underneath as well. Raquel, she actually had cut the crease look, so I'm going to draw like an S shape here, just very lightly, so I can then use the eyeshadow to enhance it. There we go, so I've got my marking there. I'm then going to use my Yves Saint Laurent Couture Palette number four. So with the taupey colour, I'm going to start darkening the S that I've created. So you can get a cotton bud to give you a nice wing. I'm going to use Flesh Clean Colour. So I'm going to use my application brush, apply this in the lid. I'm going to use this vanilla colour on the tear dot area and the brow bone. All the colours are applied. I'm now going to blend it very carefully. I'm going to start on the eyeliner. Inglot Gel, number 77. Starting from the centre, take it out. I'm going to go underneath slightly. Well, now what I will do is go back to the taupe colour and I will create a bit of a smoke underneath. Going back onto the crease, so I'm using the darker shade, darker shade of grey. I will use my Ilamasca Mascara in Raven. Got 
lovely long lashes. I didn't realize. At the bottom only. Not really wow. The... I don't need to add falsies because I was going to put <laughs> false lashes on. So now I'm just going to add false lashes to your top because you don't need any at the bottom. So I've just trimmed the outer edge off. Now I'm applying the duo glue. We'll leave it for a few seconds for it to go tacky. So the glue is going to dry and then I'm going to go over it with the eyeliner. We'll complete this side of the eye and we'll come back and show you guys how to finish the face off. As you guys can see now, Kelly's eyes have been done. So if you close your eyes, Kelly, how beautiful does it look? We're now going to focus on the face. So we're just going to give it a quick clean. There's not much fallout. Now I'm going to apply a concealer colour, NC20 in the MAC Pro. Of course, you'd go two to three shades lighter under the eyes. You're making this concealer on the side of your nose, in the expression lines, around the mouth area. I'm just going to use the foundation brush to gently blend it in place. We're just going to powder the face down slightly. So I'm using my banana powder under the eyes. I'm just going to use the HD powder, colourless powder, just to put it all over the face. It's just going to set the foundation now. Take it down to the neck as well. We will use our Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Tiny bit of cinnamon and a tiny bit of contour. Define the cheekbones, lift the cheeks up. I'm now going to apply my blusher. It's a Bobbi Brown blusher, which is Washed Rose number two. And then the highlight I'm going to use is MAC Silver Dust. So I'm using the Saint Laurent number seven, the lip liner. So it's like a peachy colour. So this I will just draw the lip, so draw the outline exaggerate it slightly and keep it round and fill it in very lightly. I will use the Lester Cinderella lipstick and apply that all over the lip. The lip gloss that I'm using is Bare Necessity from MAC so it keeps it nice and moisturised and lip gloss always exaggerates the lips. There we go, that's the look. Okay guys, so I'm going to take Kelly's rollers out and style the hair. For each strand that I take out, I will also tease the root. And then hairspray. Now what we're going to do is put this hairpiece on to give it that extra glam. We're going to clip it onto the crown, just going to tease it slightly and this is the clip on there. Literally just putting some pins at the top and then secure it all the way around. Parting wise, she has a side parting. So you can just play with it and just see what looks good and what you're happy with. And that's the look. Subscribe to Asia Glam at Asia Glam on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter.